Good evening. Tonight is night number one of learning the trombone. Other than watching a few YouTube videos and trying to put the trombone together and maybe making a few sounds, I haven't done very much. But I'm looking forward to um, impressing all my family and friends with my trombone skills. Um, I'm sure they're going to be quite surprised. I would have to say that thus far on my trombone journey, my favorite form of learning is watching a video because I feel like I do have a teacher in the room with me. Um, so I'm enjoying the YouTube videos that are out there uh, for the trombone. Um, one particular one that I've been using is by Mr. Gulen, and he has a variety of trombone lessons. So in the first lesson I learned how to put the trombone together. So earlier I mentioned a certain sound that Mr. Glenn, um, my teacher on YouTube, has been showing me, um, which is making the M sound and blowing the air really quickly through it and being able to make like a buzzing noise. This is what it's supposed to sound like. And now we're going to do that same sound with Keep trying it. And when I try to do that, I'm not getting the buzzing sound. Um, but yet, when I try to produce a sound on the trombone, I'm able to. So in producing a sound, Mr. Glenn has talked about, um, you can, depending on the uh, how much air you're giving and how tight your lips are, you can either make a low trombone sound uh, without moving the slide position or a high trombone sound. And so this is the sound that I'm coming up with. So that time I think I got one of the higher ones, and uh, let's try again. So there I noticed the looser that my lips got, the lower my sound was able to be. So I just wanted to show you that every time that I get discouraged with the trombone, I revisit this YouTube video that is my inspiration for how I hope that I can play the trombone at the end of all of this. This is the YouTube video that is my inspiration and I do hope that I will sound like this at the end of music part one. However, I highly doubt it. I can always strive for this though. I have to say this guy makes it look so easy. So this is also night number two of trombone and I had to review Mr. Glenn's video on exactly how to put the trombone together again um, and I also had to review sort of the different sounds that I'm making. So last night I was trying to make, um, without moving the slide position, just um, a higher sound and a lower sound. So I'm going to try and do that right now for you. So right there I noticed that I started a bit high, but then I went down lower and I could tell that my lips got looser, so I need to practice making that M sound more, M, 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 M. for tonight and do a couple more days of that back and forth without showing you that because that can get quite boring. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do. I might take a look at lesson number two, see if I can advance beyond the uh, two notes that I seem to be able to play. We'll see.
So it's fun to go on tonight, even though I haven't really mastered going back and forth between two, um, the high sound and the low sound. And I'm learning about slide positions now. So I'm learning that um, this is the first slide position um, right here. So, um, and that fourth uh, slide position is actually when the outer slide piece is meeting up with the bell. So Mr. Glynn has just had us practice going back and forth between first and fourth and first and fourth and seeing it from both angles but then like double checking it at the side to make sure that I am doing it properly. Um, and then he talked about how first, second, third meets up with the bell, fourth is just past, and then five, six, and seven. I have a feeling that seven's going to be hard for me because I have short arms. Um, Mr. Glenn was talking about um, being able to slide the slide all the way out. I'm going to turn around so I have more room. Uh, being able to slide the slide all the way out and hear the sound difference um, from going from the furthest position that you can back up to first position. And so he was talking about keeping your wrist um, nice and loose and you're pushing out with your wrist and bringing it back up with your fingers, um, these two fingers that are holding it. So like this and then back up. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Maybe how tight my lips were at the end. Let's try again. <laughs> I, uh, I think I'm getting to a little bit tired tonight. I think that my air is running out. I'm starting to get a bit dizzy. So I think it's time to maybe leave it there for tonight. I've learned about the slide positions and I'm starting to make some more noise on there. So steps in the right direction. Alright, so I took a bit of a break from the trombone this week, um, and I think that was actually a good thing. I was sick, and since revisiting it, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Um, I'm trying to master getting the B flat pitch and the F pitch in first position, and I feel like it's going a little bit better, um, so I'm going to demonstrate that right now. It's not perfect yet, but it's a lot better than what it has been. Alright, so I haven't quite mastered the two sounds. I'm going to keep working on it, but I'm also going to go on um, today and I'm going to do um, the lesson from Mr. Glenn on tonguing. So I'm going to just sort of play along with him um, a little further into the lesson. I think I understand the concept of tonguing just because of my flute um, and remembering that a bit from um, high school when I took band that first year. Um, so I'm going to try to just play what he played. Those sounds. Try it on your instrument after me. With me, ready? Let's go back to connected. Listen first. Try it with me, ready? Now I'm going to play some rhythms, and I want you to repeat them back to me all on the note F. So if I play this, you can hear that I went two, 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 or with the air. <laughs> Try it with me on the instrument. Ready? <laughs> 
think that I know five notes on the trombone. After I've been practicing for too long, I just sound horrible. I don't know if my, I just get tired from the breathing, but I think I just need to be done for tonight. My final piece is theme from Symphony Number no. 9 and it includes five notes and it's 16 measures long. <laughs> I feel so proficient that you're giving lessons now. You should tell them that. And here's the result of your lesson. <gasps>